If you guys are wondering why Star Wars Lego is so expensive, let's talk about the ripple effect here. <laughs> First of all, Star Wars is what most buyers ask for and want. Uh, so resellers respond accordingly and try to get their hands on Lego Star Wars, which means that resellers are bidding against each other and driving up the price which in turn forces them to then charge more money to you, the buyer, who are seeking said Star Wars. <laughs> it's a ripple effect that results in insane prices for used Star Wars halls like this. $450 for this. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't envision a scenario where I make a profit on this, but I, I did it. And uh, maybe there's good stuff in here. What's up everybody? My name is Aaron, I am the Brick Scavenger. And today we're gonna try to justify spending $450 on used Lego Star Wars. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys want to have some fun? Let's go treasure hunting. Uh, if there's anything in here that you guys see and you like and you want, I sell on three different platforms. I sell on BrickLink, I sell on eBay, and I sell on whatnot. Links to all those things in the description below. But if you're a reseller or you are a collector and in need of like a single minifig piece to finish off a figure... My BrickLink store would be a great place to look. So like, check this out. That's sweet right there. That is the clone lieutenant helmet. Rather than trying to make the full figure, searching for all the parts, waiting for them to come in, whatever, I just put this thing on BrickLink so that if you need a clone lieutenant helmet, it'll be there for you. That's a really good start, by the way. How about a shock trooper helmet? That's a good start too. Can you guys see those back there? Kinda. Here's a swole super battle droid he's been lifting. Uh, we've got some random parts and pieces here. That's not Star Wars, but that's uh, Gandalf. We've got, uh, you know, some helmets here. $450 is what we're chasing. There's an old Luke head right there. I think that's a clone pilot torso. I just sold two of those on BrickLink this morning. So glad to uh, get those back in stock. Um, you know, again, parts and pieces that sell really well. Is that uh, Poggle? I think that's Poggle. Um... Poggle the Lesser. His wings is what you really want to find. I think that's Indiana Jones right there. Uh, here is some, I think this is the new Ahsoka right here. One of the new, well, newer Ahsokas anyway. More helmets. Helmets add up quickly. Is that another Poggle? Poggle apparently is prolific around here. Uh, we've got a Chewie and a Droid. Wow, there's a lot, there's a decent amount of stuff here in Star Wars. Like I, you know, if you've watched my channel, you know, Star Wars adds up, but $450 is a lot of dollars. Uh, okay, some more random parts and pieces here. We've got a Mandalorian helmet. Holy cow, this is just parts and pieces. This is gonna, this is gonna be a lot. So here's one of the things that I was worried about. Look, how heavy is this stuff? This stuff is heavy right here, and it's bulky, so it definitely takes up a lot of the weight, you know, that's displayed, and uh, it takes up a lot of the volume that's displayed too. So it's not got much value unfortunately. So that hurts, but it is, oh, there's another one. Okay. And there's another one. I think these are like uh, rhino legs from a Marvel Black Panther thing. Okay. Now we got to find some good stuff here. Uh, some Star Wars there. That doesn't look right. Oh no. Oh no. How sweet would that have been if it wasn't? Oh no. As if $450 wasn't enough. We're going to get fake stuff in here. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have got another Shock Trooper helmet. This one is either going to get cleaned or sold as damaged. We've got a Kashyyyk helmet. Uh, the helmets are pretty good so far, huh? There's a purple clone. Uh, there, hey, there's a Coleman Traber right there. That's cool. Look at that. That is in great condition, too. So that helps on the 450, a little Coleman Traber head. Uh, let's see, some more helmets and things. We've got just random Star Wars stuff. So many helmets. I'm glad to find helmets because those will add up pretty quick. We've got, uh, as if Jar Jar wasn't silly enough, now he's uh, now he's goofy with the Riddler. 
There's a Hera piece. That's nice right there. That's an excellent piece to find. All right, good stuff there. Glad to find that. We've got, uh, again, random parts and pieces. Parts and pieces everywhere. There's a Shadow Trooper and a Mandalorian helmet. All right, we're going to scoot this to the side a little bit, and we're going to grab handfuls. It may be easier to do. There's a Zori Bliss right there. We've got a uh, Ewok. We've got parts of, well, it's a scattered mess. We've got a BB-8. We've got a Senate Commando helmet. We've got, I think this one is Akbar, but there's so many of them now. There's a Nadar Veb. Uh, there's a couple other ones too, but I think that one's the Akbar. We've got a Boba, a Boba Fett helmet. We've got a Mandalorian helmet. Uh, let's see. We've got, hey, there's a uh, white, parts of White Grievous right there. Nice. So we've got two legs and the torso. Uh, helmets galore. More helmets. We've got, uh, this is going to, this is just going to take an eternity to go through. Castle stuff. Remind me at the end of this video and we'll go through how I'm handling Star Wars parts now in my Bricklink store because uh, posting individual parts like this is a holy mess. Uh, there's some Kashyyyk legs. That's good stuff. Uh, let's see. There is, I can never remember which one this is, but there's the yellow dots, uh, officer. So that's good stuff. That's probably his helmet right there. There you go. Nice. I think that one's a pretty good one. Actually, the yellow one, I think is one of the rarer ones. Um, the Sergeant, I think is the most common. The Lieutenant's pretty expensive. I know that's the blue one. Here's a Kiati Mundi hairpiece. Nice. Uh, all these helmets, I think we're, we may be okay. We'll find out, you know, it'll take a while to get to that point. There's a arc trooper helmet. There's a sand trooper. There's the Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, head that's worried. I like that piece right there. There's, I don't know, some kind of Padawan could be, could be Anakin. I'm not sure. There is, uh, one of the older, uh, Ewoks right there. We've got, uh, well now, hold on. We've got a 50. Whoops, I threw the 501st. Uh, look at. Uh, is that what I think it is? Whoa. Should we go on a field trip? Is that is that the OG Boba? Or uh, is that the OG Django, I mean? I've got my OG Django collection up here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, baby, I think that's the OG Django right there. So this one says, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. This one has the a number in it. It has the number, I can't read it. Anyway, I think these things are old enough that Lego didn't actually put the Lego, you know, word Lego inside the helmets yet. But that actually looks pretty nice right there. Look at that. Ooh, that's a spicy meatball. That goes a very long way to helping the 450 for sure. So does Watto. Look at that. Sweet. All right, now I'm starting to feel much better. We've got helmet, helmet. There's a Plo Koon right there. Whoa, is that real? Because that's got ridiculously good gray on it. Holy cow. Uh, let's see. We've got one of the Yodas. We've got a clone here. We've got, look at this, more clones more clones. There's that uh, olive green one. Battle droids, clone helmets, all sorts of stuff in there. OG Django, let's go. Maybe we're going to be okay. Uh, we've got just, you know, helmets after helmets after helmets. There's a 212th in there. There's a Vader in there. Uh, there's another helmet, Kylo Ren. Here's, uh, that thing's a little beat, but that's more parts of that big uh, dinosaur-y thing. There's uh, some Ala Secura. That's like 10 bucks and 10 bucks right there. So that adds up real quick. Uh, there's some Anakin stuff, some more helmets. There's a Type 2 Vader. Holy cow. Uh, there is, look at this. This is a uh, Bib Fortuna right there. Those pieces can be pretty hard to find, actually. They, I think they made that thing in tan and in the, like, the nougat color. Uh, some more clone helmets. Uh, one of those may have been fake. Yeah, that's fake. You just tell right away. That one I think is real. There's a beat up one. Uh, all sorts of helmets in here for sure. 
Uh, this may not look impressive, you know, on video as you're watching this. I don't know, but uh, I'm telling you, helmets at three or four bucks a piece, they add up real quick. There's another part of that white Grievous right there. Maybe we can build a whole Grievous. That would be fun. Uh, there's a Shadow Trooper. We have got, um, you know, more helmets. More helmets. Look at all these clone helmets. Holy moly. Uh, there's little Anakin. There's a First Order helmet. This is where all the helmets were, guys. If you bought a lot that uh, was missing helmets, I found it. This is where they all went. Here's, uh, look at those printed legs on this clone with a First Order helmet. We've got a Senate Commando with a clone torso. We've got a clone gunner. That's Boba right there. There's yet another uh, Kylo Ren Shadow Trooper. Another clone helmet. Holy schmoles. Uh, we've got the old brown Ewok. There's some Kylo Ren right there. There's another uh, Death Watch Mando. Look at that. That, I believe, is not the OG Django, but uh, I think that's the smiley Django torso right there. Nice. Uh, many more helmets. Many, many more helmets. What's that doing in there? Christmas Star Wars. We've got, ooh, is that the, um, the P2 clone helmet? That's a good one right there. We've got Akbar. This is a different one, though. It's, at least it's got different, you know, darkness. Hey, that's fun right there. That's a, um, I just sold this the other day on Whatnot. That is from Hoth. Uh, totally blanking on the name, but the arm of the um, Wampa right there. More helmets, more helmets, more helmets, some battle droids. Uh, let's see. We've got, uh, you know, just random helmets and hoods and things like that. That's, I think, Dengar, and we've got uh, Forlom right there. This is just gonna, this is just gonna take forever to sort and get through. Uh, there's, ooh, look at that! That's one of the old, uh, the old helmets for the clones with that little neck guard. Sick. That's like a twenty to twenty-five dollar helmet right there. Holy moly, that's a good piece. I think we're doing pretty well on this, as expensive as it was. If you're going to get this many helmets, geez, oh, peeps. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got. Helmets, more helmets, more helmets, more. Oh, there's the white markings. Damn, that's in good shape, too. Uh, more helmets. Holy cow. What else we got in here? There's most of uh, ARF right there. We've got uh, more helmets. There's the... Airborne Geo helmet right there. There's Dirt Stains R2. There's a helmet. Here's a clone. <laughs> if you're sick of seeing clones, I don't know what to tell you because I'm not. You know what I mean? Like, if the whole point is to sell these and fund the habit, then finding clone stuff is good stuff. That looks like it's metallic. I don't think that one's pearl. That's interesting. I don't. I didn't know they made it in metallic, or maybe it's fake. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, let's see. Here's more. Oh boy, that is beat right there. That uh, he may be a little dinged up. That might be a good. Uh, that might be a good head. I can't remember. Can't remember for sure. But we've got some battle droid parts there. Some Vader. Here's some more Kashyyyk legs. Uh, we've got more helmets, more helmets, more helmets. Holy Moses. Man, that OG Django. Where'd that thing go? That thing is sweet. Uh, another battle droid. Hey! Speaking of expensive, let's go. That right there is Bausch Leia from uh, Jabba's Palace. Holy cow. That's an expensive piece as well. Uh, that's a really fun head, but it looks like it's banged up. Yama mama, there's a P2 Kashyyyk helmet. There's more white uh, Grievous right there. More helmets, more helmets. That uh, torso's banged up. That's too bad. That might have been a good one. That's got to be fake right there. That's cool looking. It's like black, shiny, super battle droid. I've never even seen that before. It's got to be fake. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? Hey there. Okay, we'll put you down for just a second so I can have clean hands to uh, play with that one. Some more stuff. Look at this. How about Shock T? Is it real? Whoa. Uh, shock. What the? Good grief. Okay, so I knew that, oh my gosh, what, and you guys ever wondered what the inside of a torso looks like? <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, so we've got Shakti's uh, 
Uh, sorry, cape. We've got Shock T's head. And most importantly, I already lost the head. Oh, there it is. Uh, most importantly, I think that's Shock T's hair piece, which is bonkers expensive. And look at how the print looks. Yowza. Uh, assuming it's real, can I see a reflection well enough to see if it's real? The lighting in here is terrible. Uh... Holy cow, lighting's terrible. We'll have to check later. But no hole in the top, so it's not a keychain. But look at this. Holy cow, you guys think dark brown is fragile? Oh my gosh, look at that. It just shattered right down the middle, but stayed in two pieces. It's supposed to look like this. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing but crying, right? Because obviously this is a, a piece you don't want to break. But, you know, what are you going to do? That's incredible right there. I'm going to have to save that for uh, for showing people on whatnot if they don't watch my videos. That's insane right there. All right, let's keep going real quick because we've got a little bit more. Uh, let's see. That? So I'm trying to – that's, I think um, – that's the new Ahsoka, so that's got to be Shock T, right? That's got to be Shock T. Uh, we've got uh, Ray here. We've got a Boba helmet, more helmets. The helmets just keep coming and coming and coming. Uh, that is, oh no, I'm going to forget her name, but I think that's like a Jedi. Let's see, we've got a new, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Can that be? Whoa! Am I seeing this right? Is that two? Do we have two shock T's right here? Okay, that one is definitely real. Maybe this one's fake. I'll update you in a minute on that. Whoa. Uh, we've got, hey, look at this. This is Evan Peel right here. We've got uh, an Urukai, not Star Wars, but really good. We've got a... Um, Ahsoka, we've got more helmets. That one looks real. I think that one's real. So many more helmets. Uh, whoa, what is this? That's another Mando. Here's yet another Kylo. Okay, do I have a bright enough light to check on this? Yeah, I do. So look, check this out. I have this set up right here, ready to go. So I'll turn the light on and we're gonna check and see uh, this one may be fake. It's still hard to tell. Oh, no, are they both fake? No, that one's real. Let's see. Oh, my gosh, they're both real. <gasps> Look at that. They're both real. Holy moly, you guys. What a score. All right, I think suddenly we're in good shape. Look at this. Ready? Shock T. Shock T. OG Django, my angle's terrible. OG Django, Pouch Leia helmet, uh, Coleman Traber head, uh, Hera hair. Uh, man, we're suddenly rolling. We've got oh, we've got the old clone helmet. We've got Lieutenant. We've got uh, Ala Secura, and then obviously a bazillion helmets. Suddenly, I think we're in okay shape, even at four fifty. I was a little worried, but man, Star Wars just adds up, guys. We'll obviously double check to make sure all those are real. Uh, but suddenly I think we're okay. But I tell you what's not okay is the amount of time it's going to take to go through like all of this. If I just individually posted each of these things to BrickLink, it would just take an absolute eternity, right? And a part of this is we got to do it in a time effective manner because if it, you know, as an extreme example, if it took 400 hours to post all of this and you profited $400, you're paying yourself a buck an hour, right? That doesn't make any sense. So you got to find a way to do this in a time effective manner. So let me show you my strategy for this that I hope is going to help. Over here, we've got all of the stuff that we get in that we don't immediately post to BrickLink. One of the categories is Star Wars. So this is like, you know, the first holding tank for Star Wars stuff, right? And we've got all sorts of stuff in here that I just haven't taken the time to post individually. 
When this drawer fills up, we then go over to holding tank number two. Holding tank number two is over here where we've got the Star Wars droids. We've got the Star Wars helmets, the Star Wars heads, Star Wars torsos, Star Wars legs, and Star Wars accessories. So we went from bulk Star Wars to holding tank number two Star Wars. Then when something fills up, like let's say the Star Wars legs drawers fill up, we go to holding tank number three. And I've got a mess over here, so it's kind of hard to show you, but here is all of the Star Wars torsos. Here's all the Star Wars legs, okay? And then they get sorted by uh, color. So now here's like all the yellow Star Wars torsos, all the orange Star Wars torsos, all the red torsos. Here's all the white legs, right? Here's all the gold or yellow legs. Here's all the blue legs. Then you go over to heads, right? And so then you've got the, uh, you know, various heads. Then you've got all the helmets. So like, here's all the white helmets. Here's all the black helmets. And then when one of these drawers fills up, then you can then post to Brickling so that hopefully when you've got a drawer full of white helmets, you know, you sort this and maybe you've got 30 or 40 clone helmets in here that are all the same. So that when you go to post this to Bricklink, instead of quantity one, you've got quantity 30, right? And hopefully that sort of makes it more time effective. Um, you know, because posting individual blasters would take forever. Posting 200 blasters that are all identical hopefully makes it more worthwhile to look that piece up and post it. I don't know. We'll see. So holding tank number one, bulk Star Wars. Holding tank number two, sorted by part. Holding tank number three, part sorted by color. And then you post a brick link. So all, look at, look at, let me show you. Uh, we're going to have to do some sorting because all of that is going to get poured into all of this, which is literally all Star Wars stuff. So all of that will then go into holding tank number one, sort, two, and then on. You get the idea. Then we go over here with the heads, and the heads are sorted in ways that we can explain in another video. But that way, like, look, look at all these. This is all these clone kind of scowl heads right here. So that when I post these to Bricklink, it's going to be, you know, quantity 200 or whatever. Um, you know, same thing goes for the orange visor pilot uh, heads. Or some of the more, you know, common Star Wars faces we'll be able to do in huge quantities. I'm hoping that'll help. I just recently did these clones, so I only have, you know, like 10 of these right now. But... It won't take long before we have a hundred of them again. Anyway, um, that's my new strategy for dealing with Star Wars stuff so that hopefully I'm more efficient, but also then hopefully showing up better on the Bricklink um, filters. Because like if you, if somebody needs this head in bulk and they go to Bricklink and say, hey, who has, you know, a hundred of those heads? My name would not show up in Bricklink because I've been posting them one, two, five at a time. But, you know, if you then click into my store, you'll see I have a bunch of listings and definitely have a hundred of those. Uh, but I wouldn't show up in that filter. So hopefully that'll help the filter as well. This video kind of got long. I apologize for the lengthiness of the video and also my blabbing on and on. But if you're interested in the behind the scenes stuff of how I run my Bricklink store and the new strategies for posting to Star Wars, there you go. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you next time on the Brick Scavenger channel.